Hey guys, welcome back. I was just, you know, chilling in my office doing my makeup because I was going to film a video and I kind of felt like, you know, just chatting with you and kind of showing you what I was doing because generally when I do my makeup it's all quite very similar using a lot of similar products but I was playing around with some new gorgeous products from Giorgio Armani to go on my blog and I was just playing around with them and they actually the finish of them is actually really beautiful so I thought you know what I need to kind of tell you about it and you can kind of come along with me as I do with the rest of my eyes so it's going to be a gold and purple eye I just want to kind of play around with it a little bit. By the way, today I've just been to the Elemis Spa. It's their new, brand new spa, absolutely beautiful, modern, and it's just so gorgeous. I had a hot stove massage, I had a scalp massage, so I'm feeling so much better now. And they also did an eyelash tint, which is why my eyelashes look darker than normal, and also an eyebrow tint. Now, I know these are quite dark, it's because I've been playing around with the brow product for this look, which was the Iron Brow Maestro from Giorgio Armani, and it's in the shade Wenge Wood. So it's quite a dark one, it's literally like a dark brown, almost black, but I just wanted to kind of play around with it, and I really like dark brows. So I just kind of filled in, because my brows look great, I just wanted to fill in a few bits and I just made them really thick and yeah, a lot of you probably won't like this, but I actually quite like it, quite like it. Anyway, to start with, um, so I went in with the Vichy Ide Idelia Life Serum, followed by the one and only Million Dollar Moisturiser from Lush. I then went in with quite a lot of new products. Giorgio Armani do so many cool products that you probably don't even know about, like I didn't really know about them and then recently I've been experimenting so much more. These two mainly, Fluid Sheer and Maestro Liquid Summer. So the Fluid Sheer, this comes in like five different colours and it's all about creating, um, you can use it in lots of different ways, you can use it underneath the makeup, you can use it over your makeup, you can use it as blush, highlight, bronze, anything you like. Um, so it comes in, I think it's five different colours that I've seen anyway and it's all about just creating this kind of luminescent glow and whatever kind of colour and radiance that you want to create. I use this one, this is shade 10. I use this all over the face before I then went in with the Luminous Silk Foundation in shade 4. Um, so I use it all over and I would also highly recommend using a beauty blender with the Luminous Silk. Um, I was using a brush this brush and I wasn't getting the effect I wanted so I went in more with the Beauty Blender and managed to make it much more perfected so big win with that one. Then to create the kind of contour and bronzer that I have, I'm getting so sick of powder, bronzer's making me look really powdery and a bit dull so I went in with this which is the Maestro Liquid Summer Bronzer and obviously I was a little bit scared a little bit unsure exactly how I'd use it, but I just use a kind of fan, normal foundation brush. This is a Zoeva Silk Finish. Applied it onto the back of my hand, and this comes out so it looks like it just looks like a bronzer colour. You see that? And I just dipped it in to the brush, stippled it onto the areas that I wanted to create the kind of bronze look, and it just stipples on really nicely. And I just sort of bronzed it round. The face onto the temples, um, under the cheekbones, and it just creates so much more of a natural bronze look rather than some something really harsh. It's just because it's a liquid product, it blends into skin so much nicer. So that's what I did. And then for this kind of blush shade, I then use the fluid sheer in shade 17. What's this one? It doesn't, they only have numbers, they don't have colours. But I thought and it, it's almost like a deep rose. I thought it would look really beautiful as a blush and I was right. So again, I just added some onto the back of my hand, used my ordinary blush brush, brushed it into it, brushed a bit off and then just brushed it over and it just looks really illuminated and beautiful. So rather fond of that. A little bit of powder, I went in with the new Luminous Silk Compact. So it's a compact that matches the foundation if you'd prefer compacts and I just used it to go over any kind of um, just to set everything in place. So that's what I did. By the way, this is not a sponsored video at all. It's just because I wanted to try all of these products out as kind of a one face Giorgio Armani thing for the blog and it's just turned out that I really like what I'm doing so I thought I'd show you. And then over the top of that, I've used the highlight, the new highlight that they've got. 
I'm going to use that on top of cheekbones. It's quite nice, subtle, but beautiful, natural blue. And like I said, I use the Eye and Brow Maestro in number two to get these big hefty brows. Oh, and on my lips. On my lips is not Armani this time, but it's... I'm really loving this. It's called Miraness. I've never heard of them before, but Miraness. And it's the lip colour, lip duo liner, and it's in Crazy Cocoa, and I'm using a lighter shade to get the line and I fill, filled in my lips as well, it's cute. Over the top I use a Nude Sticks pencil in love. This is the this is the lip and cheek pencil. I really love these a lot so I use that all over the lips to create this very muted um, pink nude and those, okay, new winning new winning lip colour, that is for show. As I said, I'm going to go in with these two beautiful colours. And I actually don't really know what I'm going to do with this. I'm just thinking that they'll look beautiful together. So I'm thinking kind of lid shade, crease shade. And I'm just going to go in with a gold. This is the Giorgio Armani Eye Tint in the shade 13. And it is the most bright, luminescent kind of um, sunshine gold. I'm just going to add that onto the lid. Like, look at that, it's actually like... Boom! By the way, for anyone that's wondering why I didn't just film everything I just talked about, I asked myself that same question. That is beautiful. Next up, Le Papel. This is shade 15. And as well, if you've read my blog before, I did a massive blog post a while back on all of these, but not the. This is like new colours. These are new colours. But I did numbers 1 to 12 in this collection were on the blog. So if you're interested in a few more of these, then just go have a peek. I'm just building up this colour. I do kind of just want to do the inner corner as well, like just go all out. So I'm going to do it and try it. Can add a little bit more. Oh god, it's so pigmented, it's incredible, this gold. Okay, let's do a bit of blending here now, guys. Blend this purple with this gold and make it look good. I'm really enjoying that purple on the very inner corner. Going into this almost like dirty gold, but it's much more purple on the outside. I actually really quite like it. I'm going to quickly try and go through again exactly what I did here. So, okay, so the gold is very much kind of centred here. A little bit up into the crease, but not too much. Then I'm going to put some purple into this very inner corner. Then if we get working this in with a brush, so I've got this Real Techniques brush. I just did a lot of just blending this over, and then I blended that over there. I blended this in here. And it's all about kind of keeping that gold there. You can kind of dirty it over a little bit, just a little bit. I just want to add a little bit more to here because I feel like this the other side has a little bit more pigmented colour going on. So I guess with this look, it's just about building these colours. Do you know what? I think I'm going to leave it there because I quite like what I've got going on right now. And I don't want to kind of <laughs> do any more to it. What I'm now going to do is I'm going to use the matching eyeliner. See, I've got one for the gold and I do have one for the purple, but I'm going to go in with purple eyeliner. Again, this is shade 8 in the eyeliner and I'm just going to line my lash line. And you know what, I really do want to use this gold one, so I think I'm going to try a bit of lower lashes. I'm just going to give it a go. Do you know what, I really love this lipstick. I think this is my new favourite. Definitely. I'm just going to try a little bit in the very centre. I'm 
going to use the other the purple one again just to bring this down and almost join it so it's like gold meets purple I'm just going to put a little bit of concealer on just a little bit of brightener onto here so I've just added some concealer Clarins Instant Concealer as well so just to finish off the whole look I'm just going to use the Giorgio Armani Mascara let's curl my eyes give them the best head start they could possibly have I really like this brush I really like this brush it is so nice got loads of product on it so it really coats your lashes but I can tell already it's not going to keep the curl but for any of you guys that have curly lashes this is so nice and that's the whole look what do you think I know it's very experimental and kind of very off the cuff but I just kind of fancy chatting with you and just sitting down with you and doing something a bit different and I feel like through this I found a new favourite evening very dark smoky golden shimmery eye look like I think it's really cute and with this like little pop of the gold you can kind of see whenever it catches the light but obviously very kind of smoky at the same time and very dark um, you just need to kind of be careful about your concealer and making sure you're really kind of concealed under the eyes and then obviously the eyes are just really seductive and dark and sexy and all the rest of the skin is really kind of flawless and perfected so i actually really love it just let me know down below what you thought of it that is it for this kind of random video i hope you really enjoyed it please do give me a like if you did and subscribe below if you're new i put out a lot more videos twice a week in case anyone didn't realize wednesdays and sundays at 5 p.m that's when i'm on the YouTubes. So I'll see you back then and have a good time until then. Bye! Mwah.